Hey everybody, this is Stephen Brook and welcome to my YouTube channel on architectural photography and composition. You know, there's some things that we can do without the camera that will immediately improve our skills. They'll improve our visual acuity and will also speed up our compositional decision making. So here's a perfect example. You walk into a room, any room, whether it's a residential or it's a commercial space, think about where you would make your shot. Think quickly. What's the center of the shot? What's the key focus? How far on the left would you include? How far on the right would you include? How much ceiling? How much floor? What's going to be in your foreground? Think about that quickly in any room that you walk into. While you're waiting to be seated at a restaurant, instead of worrying about how long it's going to take, take the time to look it over, figure out how you would shoot that space. Where would you stand? What's going to be the focal point? How much on the right would you include? How much on the left would you include? What's your foreground going to be? And after you made your initial signature shot, what additional photos can you make? How much over here on the side would you include? How much of the bar would you include? How about where the seating is? So you could figure out three, maybe four shots while you're standing there waiting to be seated. If you're standing on a street corner, instead of wasting the time, think about how you would make that streetscape. Where are you going to stop the photo on the left? What vertical elements are you going to include to counterbalance the off-axis shot and to counterbalance the extreme perspective on the buildings? You can do this anytime you're on a street corner. So if you're at a stop sign or at a stop light, look around, see what's out there, decide how you would shoot whatever is out there. Where would you put your borders? Where's the left side? Where's the right side? Vertical, horizontal. Before the light changes, you can probably see three, four, maybe five shots. These and other points of composition are in my new architectural photography and composition book. So have a look and be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel.